Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily talk. This is episode, episode, episode 434. <laughs> That's right. I just amuse myself with how many episodes it's been so far just because I'm realizing there's still much more to talk about. And this is actually going to be a part two from yesterday, but the title today, just for again the details, is Self Love Will Change Your World. We'll keep it simple, to the point, and hopefully evocative. So let's start with introducing myself so you know who I am in case you haven't seen my broadcast before. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, just to be accurate, I do a talk called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And as it's been every day, about a uh, year and a half ago, I started doing this, but now it's in number four, episode 434. And again, today's talk is Self Love Will Change Your World. And I did talk yesterday about how self love will attract love, and it was a relationship centric conversation. But I've been finishing up the guidebook for my new program, or it's not a program, my guidebook for my self love mirror meditation practice. It's a long title that I'm just literally putting together now, and it's going to be live on my site in uh, probably. Well, you can actually you can actually sign up right now. Um, I'll say more about it at the end. And in writing it, I was really reflecting on the power of self-love, because for a lot of people, and, and I actually found some interesting quotes that evoke this in me. Um, thoughts along the themes of first of all that we're so busy searching out there for love that we forget that we actually have so much love inside ourselves that we forget that we can actually tune into that and fill up from that place, which is one of the keys to eliminate loneliness, by the way, as a secret, by the way. <laughs> Secondly, that the constant changing of the things around us can have us feel like or think that we are a cork, well, I guess you say cork on a cork, on an ocean, like floating around, bobbing around without any any um, control. The truth is, the power we have of self-love is like an anchor that keeps us st sturdy in place. Not that we sink, please let me qualify that. Be really careful how I say this. But how being really in a place of centeredness, which is what self-love um, provides and offers, you'll find yourself being very much in a place where you are not swayed by outside experiences and influences. In fact, you'll be able to stay true to yourself and just notice what's going around you, just be like, oh, that's interesting. And not be, oh my God, oh my God, because that's a big difference. So that's two parts. Um, third, third, third aspect, I believe, is the trap we fall into, and this is the one I talked about yesterday, is that we have this wiring inside of ourselves because of our upbringing, that relationships out there will fill us up more than we fill up ourselves. And that really is, really is an error in approach. The constant in life and the constant in every relationship out there is yourself. Every interaction you have, be it with employers, co-workers, social, social engagement with friends, romantic relationships, parents, family, everybody you connect with, the one common denominator, try them again, the one common denominator is you. And when you keep putting your love requirements out on those people who are continually changing and fluctuating and, ch and evolving and all, the, all, all and very much invested in their own stuff, your sense of love dissipates. In fact, your sense of love is like a ping pong ball disappearing in front of you and you can't catch it. And that's no way to live. Self-love really is the game changer because when you do um, take on, embrace, own your own love, and love yourself fully, then all those hooks and ties and pulls and things that are pulling around in the world out there have no control anymore. So your world does change because you have dominion over your own world when you truly are loving yourself. And let me just qualify one quick thing. So I mentioned this yesterday and I also put this into the self-love um, guidebook, is that some people feel, and mistakenly feel, that self-love is some egotistical Self, um, self aggrandizing, aggrandizing move, if I write a word, bordering on narcissism, narcissism. And I will want to make sure you get that really clear. It's nothing like that. Egotistical 
um, selfishness isn't really self-love. It's self... Um, hmm, I'm trying to be polite. So much of those words flow wise like that word, no. That word, no. That word, no. <laughs> Just viewing what words I want to use. But really the truth is when you are someone who, when it's an ego-based selfishness, there is no love there. It is really a mental construct. For most people who are ego-driven, in fact, they are actually an empty shell, a hollow shell that is out there trying to look tough and act mean. I think they're running the show. Whereas meanwhile, there is a little kid inside of them yearning for love that's not getting it. So just be aware of that when you see bossy people out there. They may not be as strong as you think they are. So that's one little lesson. So again, the self-love aspect, when you're loving yourself, it isn't an ego-driven. In fact, it's a humbling and a very vulnerable place to be. True self-love actually brings you from here to here, which takes you out of your ego into your heart, which is a good thing. And when you do that, you become more able to serve in the world, become more able to serve yourself, which is one of the things people forget to do. And you'll find yourself taking care of yourself naturally. Because if you're like most people out there, you probably have a to-do list of all the things you must do and should do to take care of yourself that don't get done. So basically, you've a list of things you should do that you don't get done, and then you beat yourself over the head because you're not doing them. Very counterproductive. There, there's a lot of programs out there that train people like, you know, keep your agreements and make things happen and get things done. And I talked about agreement keeping before. One of the things I said very clearly in that agreement keeping conversation, that was last, last Sunday, I think it was, about broken agreements, uh, the kiss of death, or something like that. The challenge with agreements is people make too many and then try to keep them all. And they also don't know how to renegotiate or say no. And self-love, again, being a game changer and a world changer, is a thing, is an energetic that when you really are loving yourself and being in a place of self-love, you become able to say no more easily. Because you notice what you start doing is making what I would call self-honoring choices. And when you do that, when you do that, the world changes. Because you become clear about who you are and what you're about. Again, it's such a simple thing to explain this, but the practice of doing it, not quite so easy for most people. Looking at the world around me, and maybe looking at the world around yourself, maybe looking internally, if this is for you too. Self-love is a missing um, element. Self-love is a glossed over, minimized, um, disregarded concept. Because the wiring again is that self-love is selfish. And I would say the selfishness from self-love is a self-supportive ishness, not an ego-driven, I'm better than you. Because that's what a lot of people think it is. It's not about that. When you truly are loving yourself, a place of self-love, you actually become more attractive to other people because you're not needing something from them. This is a simple thing that changes the wiring. That draw to get something from other people where you, or I should say that draw where you need something from other people is very ugly, to put it simply. But you're driven by a place where you're looking to um, get something from other people and that pushiness, that neediness, that hunger is very attractive. So when you do turn on the self-love, when you do start learning how to love yourself fully, immerse in it, bask in it, own it, you become very, um, well, you become whole, which means that your ability, it's interesting, I guess I must have moved, I changed the exposure on the camera, it went very bright for a second there. Okay, I'll try again. When you are not needing anybody else because you love yourself, that lack of neediness becomes very attractive. It's almost like the vacuum you create because you're not needing something from people. And they were going like, hmm, they're nice, because they are looking at you, feeling your love that is filling you up, so you're not needing from them, they feel safe. Now this is all subconscious, by the way. Most people don't get this, this, this on a conscious level, on a verbal level, they're like, you just, you just feel the difference. You just go, that person is nice. You don't know why, but the reality is a lot of times it's self-love. So, as I said before, self-love is a massively underrated skill, and it will change your world. Um, and as, as I said, I'm very in the middle of this conversation myself because I'm just, I just wrapped up, or I should say just finished writing the guidebook, at least version 1, no, version 1.3 I think it is now, that is a powerful workbook for people, men and women, to really gain that level of self-love. It's based on the mirror exercise, and if you've watched my broadcast before, I've talked about the self-love in the mirror practice for a long time, and I figured it's time I wrote it down. So I've now created a workbook, or I should say a guidebook, because it's 30 pages now. It's, it's gone pretty deep about how to do self-love and the benefits and the prices of doing or not doing self-love. And this 
guidebook is now available on my website. I've just set it up that way, as well as the audio that's coming. So the audio is coming, but you can get it. You can order now. Um, the PayPal set up, the link set up. It's all working, so you can go in there and sign up for it now. Um, and in case you're interested in doing that now, go to wait for the end of the broadcast. If you go to barryzoe.com forward slash self love, that's how you find it. It's not even visible on my website yet. I don't have a pay. I don't have a. I don't have the menu. It's just direct access if you want to go for it. And I'll, I'll put the link in the comments below when I sign off. Um, but I'm so adamant now about how self love so self love is so vital because part of the process I'm really was was writing about is how stuff will come up when you're doing self love. Like when you're focusing in the mirror on self-love, you know, it's issues show up and the emotions show up. That's the good news because it's like cleansing. And if you've ever done a cleanse, I'm talking about the physical type, drinking type cleanses, you'll notice that you will start to, what's the word, uh, expel <laughs> or um, flush out toxins and other junk and other crap. When you practice self-love, it's the same thing on an energetic level. You're flushing out stuff. So those limiting beliefs, limiting rules, Upset emotions, trapped pain will be released. That's the detoxing process of self-love. It's a powerful, again, game changer for your world. Um, that's one other thing I was coming through. What was that one? Oh, I did mention this too. Is that the self-love self-love workbook or guidebook I'm offering has a deeper cut in it as well. I talked about this before, but it's basically this one will bring up a lot of stuff about self-image, and I'm going to tell you about it all now because you have to get the book, we'll get the guidebook to find out what it is. But it will take you through the process a different way that will actually take you deeper and allow you to really make peace with your physical self and allow you to heal some of those wounds from past relationships, past abuses, past sufferings and tra and traumas that you've had in your life. This is no light matter. This is real deal stuff. And the funny thing is, it's extremely simple. You just got to do it and commit to it. So, again, if you want to find out more, more about my program, or should, it's not a program, it's, not a program, it's a practice. A program is like an eight week course, which I have one of those for something else. But this is a practice you do yourself. It's actually called a, the full title Self Love Mirror Meditation Practice Guidebook. <laughs> it's a long title. If you want to find out more, go to barryselby.com forward slash self-love, or one word, and you can sign up for it there. Um, I think that's really what I was, just want to say about it, because I, I talked about a, lot of, a lot about this yesterday, about how it works in a relationship, but really self-love as a game changer in your world is, again, it's a very underrated, but extremely potent and powerful practice. And if you are willing to take this on, it will change so many aspects of your life you might be surprised. In fact, you will be surprised. It will change everything. It will you, change how you take care of yourself. It will change how your standards will be raised. I talk about, talk about it in the guidebook again about how you'll notice that your standards will rise. That what you set, you won't settle for the things you settle for. You'll change your um, tastes, as it were, in your relationships, every relationship, paradigms, work relationships, personal relationships, social relationships, intimate relationships, family relationships will all change if you do this. And you may find some relationships, will go, some relationships will go away because you'll start realizing that they're not good for you, they were toxic for you. But by doing the self-love, what happens is your perception, your lens will clear and you'll see more clearly what's going on. And some of those old patterns that were driving you into these paradigms will no longer work. These patterns that you've been dealing with, these paradigms you've been facing, these um, limiting relationships you've played in will no longer have effect because you will start to realize that they don't serve you. And it's amazing what happens to your life when you really start loving yourself. So with that, I think I'll, I'll wrap it up. So if you need enough insight, inspiration, and uh, what's the word looking for? Invitation. These are my daily talks, by the way. My name is Barry Selby, if you haven't caught me before. Um, again, if you want to get to the self-love pro program, the self-love practice guidebook, it's barryselby.com forward slash self love. There, you got it. Um, this broadcast, amongst all my other broadcasts, lives on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, and then will be repurposed to put onto YouTube, which is uh, Barry Selby's the channel, Messages from the Masculine is the playlist, and then also go on to my, um, at some point in time, my podcast, I'm putting about 10 a week up, which is um, on iTunes, which is Messages from the Masculine. 
um, any questions, comments, reach out to me. If you're stuck in a relationship, please sign up for a discovery session. That's barryselby.com forward slash chat. And again, self-love will change your world. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.